Welcome to Nerdsmithing. This channel is for adults and adult collectors, not for anyone under the age of 13. Now let's get into some unboxings. What is going on, all my fellow nerds and geeks? That is right. We've got a bunch of different uh, random stuff. Like I said, I'm going to start kind of filtering in some of the stuff I didn't film for the couple months or month or whatever. I was not filming anything. Um, plus, today was a Funko drop. Uh, you can't see outside, but it is dumping snow right now. And I actually had a snow day for the first time in like... I've worked there eight years. I've got friends who've worked there for almost 20, and this is does not happen at my work. So uh, I took advantage of it, didn't get up early, slept in, had fun. The Funko shop drop came up, didn't think it was going to uh, do anything, and it ended up selling out. Uh, so I hopped in the car and ran down to Funko really quick. So I will get to that at the end. That'll be the, the grand finale of this episode. But I did see someone post something on one of the groups I'm a part of. I want to say it was the uh, Los Locos Funkos posted that, that they had picked up some pins at uh, Walgreens. Yeah, Walgreens. And they were pretty cool. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to stop by on the way back. At the time when I left, there was actually the snow really wasn't falling. The roads were pretty clear. I got home just as like they just started dumping and the wind is blowing. So I got home just in time. But uh, as I was out. So they posted some pictures of these two sets right here. And so we've got like an Avengers set with the Infinity Gauntlet, Iron Man, Cap Shield, and uh, you got Black Panther. And then there is a Spider-Man set with Green Goblin, Spider-Man, Venom, and Miles Morales, Spider-Man there. Um, it does actually say on there they're $6.99. They were actually $1.30. So um, there was actually another set. They just had like the Avengers logo, Shields logo, um, uh, a couple other different like logos and circles. And I wasn't gonna get them because I didn't want to pay like you know twelve bucks for all of them. When I went to the register and saw they were only dollar thirty, I almost went back and got the other one. And I may go back and see if they do have it. I'll probably pick it up. But uh, I definitely wanted to get these two sets here. Ooh, I caught it. That was close. <laughs> So then moving right along, I've been kind of getting into the, uh, the He-Man Classics line that was done by Mattel and Super 7. Um, I'm, I, I don't know all the fine details of it. I know that some stuff's made by Mattel, some stuff's made by Super 7. There's like the Funimation Classics and there's all this crazy stuff. I've just been going through and finding ones that I like that aren't like 200 bucks because there's some that are super expensive and I've been kind of picking through and getting some of the, the lower end ones, but I did get a couple of them and one of them is one that I have wanted since I seen it. He's one of my probably more favorite characters in the, the Masters of the Universe universe, Masters of the Universe. Yeah, whatever. Uh, so, and that is Faker. So they come in these shipping boxes. So this is the ultimate Faker. Uh, he came out, I want to say a few years ago. Uh, kind of a really hard one to get. I did get a pretty good deal for him on someone on, on eBay. And then the other one I got is Keldor. And Keldor is going to be one that not many people are going to know. Uh, he is from, there was a version of He-Man that came out in the early 2000s, I want to say. I'm not a big fan of that version of He-Man, but I do really like the story of Keldor. Um, so I will show you Keldor first and you're going to recognize him. He's going to look very familiar if you are a Masters of the Universe fan. And so here is Keldor. So like I said, with these ones, I don't actually take these out of the package. I leave these ones in. So you can kind of see he looks and he resembles Skeletor. So uh, Keldor is actually Skeletor. It is Skeletor before he becomes Skeletor. He is Hordak's uh, apprentice. And if you kind of see up here in the corner, there's this little vial up here, and this little vial is acid, and he's gonna use it. I forget, it's been a long time, I forget the exact story, but basically he's gonna use it to throw it on someone. It ends up getting splashed on his face, melts his face, and um, Evelyn, I believe, is the one that kind of helps him come back to life as Skeletor. So the only difference between this and the cartoon is the swords. 
He actually doesn't, this is like a version of the power sword. He has one that is uh, a sword that breaks apart into two pieces and it's, it, you could get it in a weapons pack or they had a, uh, one of the power cons, they actually gave 200 of them away because in the production of them, they did not make them break apart. And so they stopped production when they realized they weren't popping apart. And the first 200 were just given away as a free gift. And then you can get them in like a weapons pack for the other, um, like you get that and a bunch of other stuff. So I don't think I'm gonna get the weapons pack just cause I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna open these. So, but I just like that idea. Uh, Keldor is also um, uh, He-Man's uncle. He's Prince Adam's uncle. He's uh, King Randor's brother. So it's, it's a really weird, it's a different take on the character, but I really thought it was cool. So um, after doing some research, I was like, that's a really cool thing. So uh, then moving along, the Faker, uh, this is, like I said, one that I've wanted for a really long time. I would love to own an actual original Faker, but they're uh, pretty expensive to get. So um, I went ahead and picked this one up. This is the Ultimates line, so it actually has a few more accessories versus the uh, the just the plain classics line so this is it's got i think a couple more head sculpts it's got a couple versions of the power sword in the green style you can see there's a style where the sword is open and this is a style where it's shut i want to say from what i know the shut style is because when they were producing the toy originally the plastic stuck together and they just kind of went with that so um but i do really love it you get the back here and it's got he-man Face, uh, facing Faker. Faker is actually a robotic version of He-Man. Uh, so I just, I'm a big fan of this character. And so definitely when I had the opportunity, I went and picked that guy up. So then moving right along, this is one I got on Black, or I ordered it on Black Friday because there was a really, really good deal on it. It's something that I wanted. I was very excited when I did the first video, but I've had this for a little while. So I, it's still exciting, I still love it, but it's, it's not like that first time I opened it up, exciting. Um, so this is Trish Stratus, and this is an autograph. Uh, so on Black Friday, she had a deal. I mean, this thing's normally was going for like 80 some dollars Canadian plus shipping and all that stuff, but they had a deal where it was $30 on Black Friday. And so, or Cyber Monday or Black Friday, one of those two. So I went and picked it up, but there was an option to have it personalized. So I went ahead and had it personalized. And so I was gonna get this pop anyways, so I figure, you know, 15 bucks more and I get an autograph, or 20 bucks more and I get an autograph. So I was like, you know what? It's definitely worth it for that. So Trish Stratus got the autograph, got some X's and O's, some hearts. I was very happy. And I love that she did it in pink. So it looks really good. It looks good with the rest of the autographs because a lot of them I have are colored autographs. I kind of try and stick with the colors that kind of match those characters. So that is that. So then the last, Thing on this episode and probably what everyone is tuning in to see because this thing did sell out and I was actually totally shocked because a lot of times these fantastic plastics don't sell out <laughs> and for some reason this one did and someone was saying that it only showed like 4,000 up on the website so that's actually a really low number for the fantastic plastics and that is oodles so ooh, we just got a lights flickered a little bit I don't know if you guys caught that um, so I'm gonna hurry this along so we've got the noodles, he's got his little chopsticks, and it still says spastic plastic down there. So I think they have some more of these that are gonna come out saying the same thing. So let's get this guy out of the package before my power goes out and my lighting goes down. My camera will work, but the lighting will not. So <laughs> if it gets really dark in here all of a sudden, you guys will know why. So like I said, I really didn't think this was gonna sell out as quickly as it did, but it is definitely, a very fun little pop. So I think a lot of people liked it. You had those noodles coming out uh, because it's kind of like a food product, but also it kind of, a lot of people are saying it'll go with the, the bow, little, little dumpling thing that came out. So, um, but yeah, you've got a little cup and I, I love me some cup of noodle ramen. So, uh, ramen cup. So yeah, I, I saw this and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get it. And then like I said, when it showed sold out, I got in the car and ran right over there, pick it up. So uh, that is it for this episode. Did have a little black stuff on it, but I just wiped it off. So that's it for this episode. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, you can follow me on Instagram at NerdSmithing. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome, people.